It doesn't just say automatically. Or Drew? Just, uh... Has it been a year with the R? A year? Yeah. Uh, um, let's see. I'll give you time to think about it. Okay, uh, let's do it over here instead. Off the get-go, a year with the Canon EOS R. Uh, I've used it for basically everything that Night Productions does. I've used it for video, I've used it for photo, um, Obviously, primarily, I have used this camera specifically for photo because as you know, when we talked about in my gear bag, I do carry around a Sony a7 III, but there are times where I wanna color match perfectly and we'll take our R6, which is recording right now, and this R, and we'll use both um, for maybe some talking head or you know whatever it is. Um, but off the get-go, I'm not gonna dive too much into specs. What I think I'm gonna talk about today is just more about how has this camera impacted me as a photographer and my time spent with the Canon EOS R? Just a little background about the camera. It is a like a 31.7 megapixel camera. I think it's like you round up to like 32. I think effective pixels are 30. Um, it is a full frame camera, um, you know, digital sensor, all that stuff. Um, the RF mount. Yeah, it has, uh, of course it has the RF mount on it. So, um, you know, that did, that was a big change moving over from uh, the Mark IVs to now having an, uh, an RF lens. So now I have to get RF, uh, either an adapter or, you know, get RF lenses. So we decided to go ahead and get RF lenses. I have two with me today, the two that I use the most. Um, the one that's on here right now is a 24 to 70. I use it every day, I feel like. It is my go-to. Um, it's great for photo, video, whatever I need. It's got a great uh, range of motion here. Um, and that's why it's my favorite. It does have autofocus, manual focus uh, buttons on the side, as well as the, uh, the uh, stabilizer as well um, that I always accidentally turn off. Um, Caden gets on my tail end about that. Um, and I do have a uh, Prime 85 millimeter here. It's a Rokinen lens, so it's not name brand Canon, but this thing is fantastic. I use this sometimes at weddings um, just to you know have that prime look. Um, on top of that, on top on the uh, glass of the lens, we do have something kind of fairly new to me. Um, Caden introduced me to it. Um, I have a uh, Freewell uh, variable ND here um, on top of it. This thing is uh, so good. It is primarily for video, but however, um, it does help on like a couple of different shoots. If it's just super sunny outside and you need just a little bit of, uh, you know, sunglasses on the top of your camera here. Um, we, you know, just throw that over to the two marker or something like that, and it helps quite a bit. Um, so that is about as deep into specs as I'm going to get. As far as that goes, I don't really think it matters much more than that. That is just what I have. That is what's on me. So now you know, as I talk about this, kind of what I've been using. So you're not like, okay, well, how does he even get that? So this is what I've done. So you'll see some pictures behind me, even um, this one right here, right here in the middle uh, is actually... Um, something I shot with this. I can do studio stuff with this. I do senior pictures. I do weddings. I do maternity photos, um, headshots, you know, all that stuff. I do all of that with this EOS R. And one of my favorite things about it is because like I said, it is a 32 megapixel camera, um, which means I can crop in and out smoothly. Don't lose a lot of quality at all. It's great for things like the headshots and the photos that I do here on the backdrop. Cause as a photographer, when I shoot things in the backdrop, sometimes I can crop in or out um, like while I'm shooting. So like, you know, just push in, push out. Um, but a lot of times I will take a photo and maybe in post I'm looking at it and I'm like, wow, this would be better cropped in. And I can do that smoothly with a 32 megapixel camera, um, which is huge. One of my favorite things about it too is it's super light. Now I granted there's a big piece of glass on it, um, but like when I'm at a wedding or something like that, this thing is not a, not a pain in the rear to carry around. Um, so this is super nice. I love having this um, on a wedding day. Uh, also a huge, huge uh, thing for weddings is having the uh, 
turnaround screen. Um, just being able to shoot in different angles and things like that and being able to flip the screen around is one of my favorite things about it as well. I think this thing still holds up today. Um, I think that if somebody watching decides like, you know, they're looking for a camera, maybe an upgrade from like, you know, let's say someone's trying to maybe move to a mirrorless camera. I, I would be willing to recommend you the R. I think, honestly, I don't think there's a better option uh, for someone who wants to jump to a mirrorless camera um, out the gate. I think, like I said, it has video option, it has photo option. Granted, your video option isn't gonna get you that, you know, 120 FPS or anything like that. But I mean, shooting at 60 FPS, 30, um, you know, those kind of things, you're still able to do all of that and get what you need to do. You could use it on a wedding day if you wanted to, um, especially for photo. I recommend it for a wedding on a photo. Um, I recommend it for senior pictures as well. It's super clean. Like I said, cropping in and out is no problem whatsoever. The color on a Canon camera cannot be beat in photography, in my personal opinion. That's what I shoot with for photography. You guys know that. I love it. Um, I think it's just great with my editing style as well and the whole team's editing style, so I stick with it. I, I, I still use this every day of my life, and I have a shoot later today at 6.30, and I will be using this camera, and I promise you, my shoot yesterday, I was using it. My shoot tomorrow, I'll be using it. Like, that's just how it is. It's such a phenomenal camera. Uh, I don't have any intention of getting rid of it right now. Um, it's the fact that they, they, they've come out with the R5 and the R6. And yeah. The R7 comes out later this year. Yeah. And you can still recommend. Correct. I can still R. recommend this. This is a beauty. This is a beauty. You can, you can go, if you're looking to jump to a mirrorless camera, this is a fantastic option. Um, I don't know what price this runs at right now. Uh, I can do a quick check real quick. Yeah, so EOSR body only runs for about $1,600 right now. Okay, $1,600. All right. Yeah, so all of these right here that you're looking at are some of my favorite shots that I was able to get with the R. Um, these are all different times of the year. Um, these are spread amongst my, honestly, these are spread amongst the year that I've had this camera. So you've, some of these pictures are early on and some of these pictures are as I've grown with it. And as you can see, the quality I think uh, stays true to itself. Um, it's good in a lot of different scenarios. And I think like, I just think the value of the camera is worth it. I pick it up every day, I use it every day. So I think I'm more justified in saying this is a smart choice if you're looking to get into a mirrorless camera. Um, but that's basically it as far as my year's time with this. I've enjoyed it. Um, if you have one, let me know what you think. I wanna know, tell me I'm wrong. If you think I'm wrong, you hate this camera, let me know. Um, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on it. Um, or also if you have any questions at all, Caden's a great guy with specs. He got you on specs. If you need uh, some advice on maybe just my time with it, let me know. I'll get you there. Um, we can handle any questions you might have for it. But that's about it. Um, we will see you guys next Thursday at 6.30. Caden's going to hop in here. And be looking forward to an A7 and an R comparison. Yeah, A7 and R comparison. And also, I'm going to do a video about uh, – I want to do a video about my time with specific cameras at, like, specific shoots. Yeah. Thursday, 6.30. We'll see you then. Bye. Now, that doesn't mean I don't want an R5. I do want an R5.